And he did three divided by two. Three divided by two to get, I mean, three divided by, six divided by three. Say that again? To get two. Yes. So 12 divided by six is two. 18 divided by six is three. Six is the greatest common factor. Okay, hold on. So what we're gonna do with this two thirds pi? We multiply it by no. what? Oh yeah, multiply by um wait, two thirds pi. We multiply it by three. Well, go back to the question. We're gonna see what the radius is. Cause on this question, the radius is three. On the YouTube, the radius was three. On here, the radius is one. Oh, okay. So now what's two thirds times uh, pi? Can you put that in your calculator? Uh, I'm going to calculate the dead. Okay. So if we did two thirds times 22 over seven, it's the same thing as pi. As a fraction, it's, it's the same thing. So two times 22 is 44. And three times seven is 21. In your calculator, do 44 divided by 21. 44 divided by 21, okay. Should be two point something, something. 2.1 and some change. 2.09. 2. Okay, so what's your answer choice is closest to that? 2.1. There you go. All right. Ooh, okay. Okay, this time it didn't give us the what's uh, yeah, it didn't give us the um, what's it called? How come it didn't? The radius. How come it didn't? Radius is from the center of the circle to the to to the circle. It didn't put it at the bottom, but oh no, it's the radius. Yes, sir. That one is the radius also. That's what they want you to they they want you to see hypotenuse because you're thinking about trying. Oh, okay. That one is the radius also. So they're both the same. Okay. So now if we do S equals R theta, R is 12. How big is our uh angle? Uh S is so R is 12. Uh-huh. And then the angle is 45 degrees. What do we got to do with that? Multiply. By what? S hold on. Um, by pi over 180. Good job. 45 goes into 45 one time. 45 goes into 180 four times. So now you have 12 times pi over four. Okay. And then you, with that, you. Three is the greatest common, I'm sorry, four is the greatest common factor. Mm -hmm. 12 divided by four is three. Four divided yeah. by four is just one. E four divided by so S equals pi over three. And then what do you do after the last? So are you cool with this part? Pi over four? Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna take 12 times pi over four. So if I did 12 times pi over four, I gotta make this a fraction also. So this will become 12 over one. 12 times pi is 12 pi. Mm -hmm. One times four is four. four. So you got 12 pi divided by four. What's 12 divided by four? Three. Three, what comes after for dessert? Pi. 
We pod. That's our answer. Now go back to the question, the, the Kahoot part. So we'll do three times 3.14. Three times 3.14? Yes, sir. Nine point four two. Wait. Nine point four two. So wait, which one? Which one would I put? Because I have nine point four two four, nine point four two five, nine point four, and nine point four two five u. I think we're gonna go with the one that says u because it's units. Um, let's go with the green one because it's more accurate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Wait, what does S mean for the formula found in the arc? Uh the answer. The last two letters, the last two words. Huh? What's the last two words? In the oh, story? arc length. Arc length. Yep, yep. What do you divide M by? Mm -hmm. And nothing, it's the arc, right? Um, yeah, I agree with you. Huh? Don't worry about that one. Find the arc length. Same thing. Same thing we were just doing. Ooh. Okay, yeah, same thing. Twenty. They gave you degrees, so you go from degrees to radians. So it's the same thing. So for R, what's our radius? Um, the radius is. R, the radius is five centimeters. Five. What's our, what's our, um, what are we gonna do with the 24? Put it to divide by 180. Huh? You divide, no, not divide, multiply. So you got 24 times what? 24 times pi over 180. Good. I'm going to say 12. If I did 12, that would be 2, 1, yeah. OK, so then 12 is the greatest common factor. Mm -hmm. 24 two times. We can cross off our 24. Yep. 12 goes into 180 15 times. You can take this off. So now we got 2 pi. Two times pi divided by 15. Two pi on top, 15 on bottom. Then you'd actually multiply that out. Okay, so it'll be, no, I can't see it. Two over one. Times pi over 15. 15. And then it'll be 2 pi 15. So it'll be 2 pi over 15. 2 can go into 15. Right. So what's 2 times pi? 2 times pi? Yes. 2 pi? Okay. Uh, two times 3.14. Two times 3.14. Maybe like 6.28? So yes, sir. Divided by 15. Divided by 15? Yes, sir. Divided by 15. It's like 0. 0.418. Is that a natural choice? No.
Oh, snap. Ha. Oh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to click. I accidentally clicked on it. It's all good. What did it give us? 2.1? Yeah, 2.1. Find the length of arc and PQ. Oh, whoa. Radius is nine. We say 60 times pi over 180. So that's really pi divided by three times nine over one. So you got nine pi divided by three, which is three pi. You see how I got uh, pi divided by three? Mm -hmm. okay. You do nine times pi, nine pi, one times three is three. So you got nine pi divided by three, which is three pi. So it should be like nine point four units. Doesn't say centimeters, that's why. Mm, you know, I think it should be. Okay. If, uh, if, um, it's 37 and the radius is, it's the arc is 37 and the radius is six. What is the length of S? Okay. So, so what do we say? We the R is six. Take off this nine right here. Put a six. Theta is 37. Should. All right, so we should be 37 pi divided by 180 times 6 over 1. Six goes into six one time, six goes into 180 30 times. So you should have 37 pi. Whatever you get, divide that by 30. Yes, sir. So it should be 37 times 3.14. 37 times 28, 2, 9, 21, 12, 4, 9, 8. Six, eleven, one ten. So it should be one ten divided by thirty. Should be units. So it should be three point something units. Three point nine units. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. going counterclockwise. So um, 360 minus 45, because the part that, that they gave you is 45 degrees and the whole circle is 360. So you have to do 360 minus 45 to get the other, the other angle all the way around. So if we did that, 360 minus 45, 315. So now we take our radius is eight. And we're gonna say 315 times pi divided by 180. But five and zero lets me know five goes into it. But we wouldn't even have to do that. If you got a calculator, do 315 times 3.14. Okay. You did 315 times 3.14? Oh, I did. Oh, I was slow. I did division. Yeah, did. Um. Oh, yeah. 315 
Divide that by 180. Five point four nine five times eight. Forty three point ninety six units. And this is the closest one to it, so yeah. yes, you know, the... did it say that's the same thing? Yeah, oh, because the rounding. Because we did three, okay, okay. Because we did three point one four, we rounded it. We should have went up a little bit. That's what we forgot. To do. Yeah. Bonus measure of A B C. No. Notice that all the answer choices are in degrees. So instead of doing mm -hmm. pi over 180, it's going to be 180 over pi. 180 over pi. Okay. So you're going from radians to degrees. So you're going to be 180 over pi times six. And then your radius is also three. So that's going to be zero, eight, four, 1080 times three, zero, four, two, 32, 40, divided by 180. I'm sorry, divided by pi. So you zero divided by pi? 32, 40 divided by pi. 32, 40 divided by three, oh no. Divided by 3.14. 1,031. Uh, 1, Go back to the other one, to the Kahoot. Pick red. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, pick red. Mm. I don't know how we got this one. Wrong. This one is the bonus. We're going to have to work on this one for the next time. So we know how to go from degrees to radians. We got to work on going from radians to degrees. That's that'll be what we do next week. Okay. All right. All right. And you said Waco at Red Oak Friday at seven. Yes, sir. No, six thirty. It got moved up to six thirty. Six thirty. Okay, cool, dude. I'm gonna try to make that one. I got. I'm supposed to get a haircut appointment at five, and then get a haircut appointment and go straight to you. That's okay. All right, now I'll see you next week, or I'll see you Friday. All right. Uh, I see you.